Hey y'all, it's Michael and it's Vlogmas Day 2 and today I thought I would give you some of my thoughts of, about a book that I recently finished about a week ago and that's 4321 by Paul Auster. This book was shortlisted for the man Booker um, 2017 and that's the only reason why I have decided to read read it and i this is actually my first like paul oster book it was literally like diving in head first and i have a lot of thoughts on this book but i'm going to try to keep it quick and to the point this story involves our main protagonist um ferguson um Archie Ferguson. I'm just gonna call him Ferguson because he's referred to that in the book a lot the way this book is structured is Think about it like a tree. Um, basically, in the beginning, like before the official book starts, um, we have the base. So this basically chronicles Ferguson's whole family and how he, his family essentially gets that name Ferguson, which is like really interesting. And so it, it's like a tree. And then the way that the book is structured and why it's called 4321 is because it's basically like four timelines, I guess you could say. So it's like branching out. So there's four storylines um, and it all involves Archie. So the history of his family is consistent throughout all the four stories. But within each um, timeline and within each four stories something different happens this is really hard to structure this because there's a lot to talk about since it's essentially for me it felt like it was four stories that was like compact together um and i felt like my main issue with this because first off this book is incredibly long it is over 800 pages but it felt longer i have read books it was longer than this 866 and the font was smaller and it went by much faster <laughs> like it by Stephen King oh my gosh and I had to lug that book around and I was like oh this is I'm really liking this but with this it is such a slog to get through the later half of this <laughs> this whole book because in the beginning of this I was quite enjoying it actually because it has a lot of elements that I really enjoy but then <laughs> I mentioned like um in my previous Friday reads that this book is really like a marathon it's like you kind of need to pace yourself like in a marathon with so you can consistently finish until the end and with this book it drags from in my opinion at the half of it because the halfway point to like page 400 which i know sounds ridiculous i was quite enjoying it actually and there were parts in that first half where i was like oh my gosh it was like so interesting the later half really showed in my opinion some of the things like some of the flaws in it essentially um so let me talk about the writing because this is what i felt about the writing this since this is my first oster book um i've never experienced this writing before and it has its pros and its cons. Um, there are some beautifully, beautifully written passages. And I say this, well, I should probably just say sentences because he is one of those authors where he can, who he can do a sentence, boy. Like he knows where to place those commas, those hyphens and make the sentence just run, like run. Like there are, literally chunks of the book where it's just one whole sentence and there are some moments where it is beautifully and i think he does a great job like just describing everything and it's just done so well but then there are parts where it is just a slog i was like okay mr paul you can just kind of like okay like cut it short and there were parts where i felt as though like it needed some editing because i was like why is this here and i'm mainly talking about the historical context like the historical parts of it because there are some parts where he where it's mentioned about like the historical worldwide events that's happening but in my opinion, it doesn't really have a payoff. And th I think that's one of my main issues with this, with the whole book in general, is I kept constantly thinking to myself, I was like, so what is the end to this? Like, what will the end justify this journey that I'm going? And 
while in the end the resolution is more like, oh, I see where you're going with it, but the journey to get to the end, I, it, I don't think it was justifiable. Like, parts of that book could have been cut, and I think it would have been stronger, more concise. And even if he could have written those long, just long ass passages, I think that it could have been even more concise. What is this ingredient to the soup that I'm adding really gonna do? Is it gonna add more flavor, more texture, more consistency? What? Like, it really didn't do anything. Let me talk about Archie. So, Ferguson is such an interesting character, and I really did enjoy that. Like, for even though these were four, um, essentially the same person, but really different but the same it's really hard to explain it but even though they were different and the same but different and the same at the same time yeah <laughs> um i was kind of like okay it was really easy to distinguish between the four different um ferguson and it was so interesting seeing how these four stories were diverging and things like different things happening within each timeline and the main thing within with going through all four of the um plots of the four stories essentially um there was this consistency of writing and literature and reading which i thoroughly enjoyed because it th that part actually does play a role in the conclusion like this passion and this love that like no matter what happens um within these four timelines that he has this goal this love this need this want to write a book because um ferguson is a writer that is his dream like that is that is essentially what he wants to do um and i really enjoyed that aspect about it all the side characters, some of them were interesting, some of them was just like throwaways. And again, like I said, I mentioned earlier, there were parts again, I was just like, I don't even know why you mentioned this because like, what does this have to do? Like, I felt like it didn't even add like, there were mentions about like girlfriends and whatnot, but I, was, I felt as though like that didn't really add anything to even the characterization of Archie. So I don't know why that was. Now out of the four stories, there is one that I really enjoyed and that was chapter, that was the third story. Um, yeah, yeah, that it was the one where he um, goes to Paris. That one, oh my god, that I thought, I was like, out of all of those four, I thought, I was like, this could have just been the book itself. Like, <laughs> let's be honest, it could have just been that. I do have to commend um, Oster. There are part, there is, the way that he structures this, these four stories about like a poll each four of the um stories are actually like you would read 1.1 1.2 1.3 1.4 and like each one of them is happening within the same timeline so like it would be you would read all of it um well within the four stories like as he was a child and then like as he's a teenager then as he's and so like it's so interesting um and he does do a good job of playing with this structure in the sense that he presents to the reader in the way that, oh, I'm, I would be interested how the audiobook would do it because in the book, it, I was like, oh, okay, I see, I, I see this, I, I see it. So I thought that was um, really cool. My main issue with this, it is a slog. It's really, I had to force myself to go through it because it's just, there are parts where it just felt tedious and just too much. This, hashtag this too much, like it was just too much. It just seriously needed to be cut down. Also another way to describe this is like, it's kind of vanilla-ish, I guess you could say. Like if you had to choose a flavor within the aisle of ice cream flavors, it would be a vanilla. If you read the book, let me know what you think about it. I would really love to hear your thoughts especially if you read it um i would love like and then you like it i would love to hear your thoughts about it um if you leave any spoilers um make sure you write spoilers down below because i don't want anyone to be spoiled essentially until then i'll see you guys till tomorrow bye